at Cocktail Conversations, candid insights from startup founders, entrepreneurs, and thought leaders from around the globe. I did my undergraduate studies in computer science, uh, then went on and got my graduate degree in business before going to work for KPMG Pete Marwick and their higher ed technology consulting group. And we were seeing a big trend taking place on college campuses. We were seeing that they were spending millions of dollars wiring the dorm room and the classroom to the internet, and yet there was no software that made that useful for teaching and learning. I was working with a friend of mine from college, and we decided to quit our jobs to design software that would let schools bring their teaching and learning online. And that was the start of Blackboard. I would disagree with people that say that there's a slow pace of innovation in ed tech. Actually, I think as proven by the ed tech track here at South By and the amount of companies both focused on internet and mobile education technology, there's some incredibly fast paced innovation. What's slow is the deployment. What's slow is actually institutions, whether it's K through 12 or colleges and universities, adopting that content to change the way in which they're teaching and learning. I think it comes down to the fact that you have these institutions that are hundreds if not thousands of years old and have been doing teaching and learning the same way over that entire time frame. So of course they're often slow to adopt these new technologies. But I do believe that the pace of that adoption is starting to pick up. And I think over the next few years you're going to see real change, seeing both the technology and in particular mobile technology and analytics really change the way fundamentally education is delivered. If you're going to do a startup in education, I always say to the entrepreneurs, make sure you're doing it not just because you're interested in starting a company and passionate about technology, but you really care about education. Even though there's certainly a fast pace of innovation change in education, it is an industry that's slow to adopt. So that means it takes even more dedication and more focus to really get your technology or your change implemented at schools. I am a co-founder of Blackboard, and one of the things that uh, myself and my partner Matthew Batinsky uh, discussed when we started the company was we didn't just want to create a new venture and create a company. We wanted to fundamentally have an impact on the way people were educated around the world. And it was that passion and that focus that I believed led us to eventual success. So Blackboard is certainly more well known within higher education, but we have an entire K-12 through practice as well and offer an array of technologies for K-12, through higher ed, and continuing education. But the challenges in each of those areas are actually different. In K-12, through they're dealing with more fundamental issues. How do you make sure that the kids are actively engaged in the school and that their parents are actually part of the engaged community? How can you use better analytics to help feed the students the content they need so that they could learn at the pace that's best set for them? Now, those are different challenges than in higher education, where more of the focus is towards providing the right type of content for the various degrees or advancement programs that the students may want to pursue or also just the way in which the uh, education system and the content that's distributed is structured. So in K-12 in particular, what you're starting to see is large analytics. People saying, you know what, if we can figure out how to best uh, group together these students based on their different uh, learning expertise or the way in which they process information, we can provide a better educational experience. But all this costs money, and especially now when the schools are in a particular budget crunch, at the time, I think, when it's the most important to deploy new technologies and at a time when it's really we have the best new technologies to deploy in education that we've ever had, uh, we're, we're facing a budget shortfall and therefore an inability to deploy these technologies. My superhero entrepreneurial strength is the Jedi mind trick. But what I think you meant to ask me was, what am I most excited about here at South By? You know, I think you're starting to see an entire new range of innovation, both in education and outside of innovation, that's going to have a fundamental change on the way that uh, teaching and learning is delivered in K-12 through and higher ed. And that's one of the things I'm most excited about here at South By. Okay.